Amy Tang is with us right now, and Amy is the author of A Play Date with Destiny. That sounds so intriguing. What's that all about? Well, it, it incorporates a lot of my own personal journey, but it goes for anyone who is a social entrepreneur or anyone who wants to push the envelope and make this world a better place. Mm. And I wrote it as Eileen and I were launching Lights On, and I was at the same time pursuing my first book, publishing my first book, which was called Awakening to the Light Within. And it's about you know taking daring risks and facing subtle setbacks and painful disappointments mm. and taking it all and putting it into a fun-filled journey. Mm. This will be released Sunday, May 1st. Yes. That's interesting, yeah. on a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, with destiny, is that something like, are we thinking about finding our purpose in life? Is that a big umbrella comment mm. of that? It is. And I, I just did an interview yesterday, and it was about discovering who you are. And that's actually half the journey. Mm -hmm. Once you discover who you are, then the second half of the journey is really integrating that and becoming that on a daily basis. Well, you know, I know who I am. I'm not too sure about <laughs> Lou. We have searched for a while and uh, have yet to come up with it, and you know that's a joke. Yeah. Melvin, that is a joke. There's no destiny for me. But, you know, find it. You know what? My next question to that is, mm -hmm. how do you find that out? That, and that, that is, how do you find that out? Well, you know, destiny is it's not an ultimate destination. That's what it's I'm not talking ominous about. Right. So much. No, it's more about playing with who you are on a daily basis mm -hmm. and in ingraining it into every single interaction that you have. But so many people try to mold us. Yes, in our lifetime. absolutely. So it's hard to absolutely. find us when everybody else is molding us. Do we resist absolutely. that, or should we? Or what, what's the balance? Well, there? I call it in my book. I call it shaken, not stirred. When you really oh. come out as who you are, mm -hmm. you don't just stir the pot a little bit. You shake things up violently because mm -hmm. you're pushing the envelope, especially if you're in a field That's like That's what Donald Trump's doing, isn't it? I think yeah, he exactly. is. Same thing. Exactly. Especially when you're on the forefront of new consciousness. Mm -hmm. No, you're not just stirring the pot. You're shaking things up radically. So. But even as a child, uh, so many aunts, uncles, moms, dads, grandma and grandpa, yes. they try yeah, to push right. you. Absolutely. They say, this this is what you should be doing. So we suddenly get that in our brain cells and say, I'm supposed to be doing this even though I'm something, somebody else. And exactly. And that comes up in my um, chapter about drag queens. You know, uh, literally? <laughs> not, not literally. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there, you know, I come up with seven different kinds of drag queens. And when you really, really start to fly, what happens is those, those people who love you the most actually create some resistance for you and uh, why is that well it, it, not everyone is is ready to uh, break through limitations mm -hmm. and break through you know a threshold and when when you're close to that mm -hmm. that can actually scare so that cannot happen people. until the person's ready uh, getting yes. serious on yes. the subject. Yes. That really doesn't happen until that person is ready, wakes up, mm -hmm. awakening, all this mm -hmm. ties together, exactly. and looks at it squarely. Exactly. And so, so as parents, when we're raising our children, because so many parents want to, you know, I want him to be a baseball player. I, I yeah. want her to be a, a physician or a yeah. surgeon. Yeah. Should we just love them and, and help them? Absolutely. Go towards their because their what happens for us, and this is in a play date with destiny, is you know half the journey is then peeling back all those layers that have actually been put onto you or projected onto you. You have to peel back all those layers, but that's only half the journey. Once mm. you have peeled back all those journeys, there's you know, more. All the, mm. Oh, there's more. <laughs> yeah. Then you've got to wear it proudly and put it out there and, and be well prepared. And that's why I wrote this book. Mm. You have to be well prepared for all the different angles that will come mm. at you when you take the daring risk to do that. Hide and seek, peekaboo, and I see you. Yes, yes. There's childhood okay. games, but they play a part. Well, yeah, exactly. You know, it takes a lot of strength and fortitude to really play big. So in order to do that, there's a time to hide and seek, and then there's a time for peekaboo, I see you. You hide and you seek when you're, when you're seeking information both internally, who am I, where am I going with all of this, 
as well as you're seeking information about you know, who's my competition, where is this world going in the next 10 years, all those kinds of things. Then, when you're really ready to come out, then it's peekaboo, I see you. And I must bring this up. Bubbling, 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 <laughs> thank you, mumbling and stumbling, just That's like right. I'm doing. That's right. Woo! That's right. And as I say, from my own personal experience, it's humbling to be mum bumbling, mumbling, and stumbling, right? <laughs> try that three times. You exactly. know what? You'd have been fine if I hadn't started it. <laughs> Can I try that? Bumbling, mumbling, and stumbling. stumbling. There you go. There yeah. you go. Yeah. And uh, you know what? That's all part of the process. Anytime we venture into something new and, and dare to take a risk to go beyond our, our threshold, we're going to bumble. Now, when you stomach. get too much pressure from all around you, mm -hmm. should you, should you try to escape that situation when people are pounding in on you? And I know there's many in, in our audience probably that's happening right now to them. Um, well, there's different, diff different tools and techniques for different times. Rather than escape, there are ways that you can actually protect yourself and being prepared for, there's ways you can anticipate certain things mm. that will happen. And, and that's what this book is about, is helping you anticipate certain things that might come So you can you. tackle it, so you that's can right. handle it. So that you're well prepared and you're protected. Mm -hmm. So we don't stumble too much. <laughs> well, I say it's okay to stumble because you never know what you're going to stumble on. That's true. Very well put. I like that. And if you don't stumble, you will never then achieve your goal usually. If you don't mm -hmm. fail, you'll never win. Mm -hmm. That's right. It, it, basic. Uh, Amy, That's right. thank you so much for being mm -hmm. with us. We're going to look for that book. Where can they find it May 1st? Uh, www.authoramytang.com. And that will help you with any other information you need about Amy. Thanks, Amy. Amy. Thank you so very yes. much. Great information. Mr. Bill